Hi everyone, Peter Lesiaghi here, Donato Karate Center in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, and I wanted to just take a couple of minutes and share with you some of the things that have been on my heart. Now, I spent the day, got up this morning, did all that I do typically on a day, but I also spent some time um, talking to people this morning and fellowshipping and just having a great day. It's beautiful outside. And while in my conversations, I was thinking about a lot of different things and I was sharing a lot and those that I was speaking to, they were sharing a lot. And we were talking a lot about life, um, being that I'm a martial arts instructor, I'm a teacher, I'm a parent, I'm 57 years old. And so there's some life that I've lived and we were talking about life and getting through life. So it's funny how a lot of my conversations that I have with people, it always ends up talking about life and becoming this person and, and being prepared for life. And uh, I grew up in New York City. Some of you might know this if you've been following me for a while. I grew up in New York City in the South Bronx. I grew up with the gangs and the streets and it was pretty rough. And very quickly, my attitude uh, as I got older, maybe uh, when I was 20, 30, definitely uh, going through my 20s and 30s, and definitely maybe going late 30s, early 40s, I thought that to get tough, you had to uh, basically go up, uh, come up in rough neighborhoods like me. And I soon realized when I had children, and of course, you know, I worked hard, I got out of the street gangs, I educated myself, I uh, got pretty smart with how I uh, I uh, did business and was a professional, and now I'm a master instructor at Donato Karate Center, which was pretty awesome, and I it, get an opportunity to change lives. But I learned when I uh, became this person, I was able to provide for myself and my family, be very responsible. I learned very quickly, uh, being in a great neighborhood like Mount Laurel, there's still going to be challenges of life. I, I, I I've helped my kids navigate through that. I've navigated through that. It didn't matter where I was, whether I was in the streets of New York or whether I was an, an adult uh, that had a clear mind, a clear purpose, and living in a great neighborhood, that life is going to come at you sometimes fast and furious. And you could be pre as prepared as possible, but it's still going to come at you. And so this I found very, very interesting, very fascinating. And as I grew as a martial artist, I've been doing this for 47 years. I started 47, 48 years ago I started. You could do the math. And now I've been teaching for almost 20 years, have both my kids, all my, everyone in my family is a black belt, my wife included. My daughter is a full-time instructor. My son's a second degree black belt. And uh, just watching martial arts, seeing martial arts build me up, build them up, helping us prepare. But even with all that, life comes at you and sometimes you're going to get surprised. You're going to think that you're equipped for the challenge, but then something comes up, life throws something at you pretty fast and sometimes, again, furious. And then you're there in awe of what you are to do to get through this incredible challenge. And so uh, I know that my life has prepared me for those challenges, my ability to have this mindset to be prepared for it and then back it up with action through my training, through my uh, learning from others, getting uh, mentors and teachers and, and falling on my face and getting right back up. And, uh, you, know, it's, uh, you know, I've learned how to uh, basically get comfortable with being uncomfortable, even when life comes at me pretty fast. And so there are a couple of things that, as I go through my everyday life, there's three things that I really keep focused uh, uh, in my mind. And first of all, I need to know that I always have to be prepared. I have to really train myself, train my mind, train my heart, train my body. So no matter what life throws at me, that I know in my mind that I'm, I am equipped to deal with it. At least I've done all that I can to prepare for that battle because it's coming. Ready or not, it's coming. And so I've done all that I can to prepare for it. So that's one thing I've done for myself. So for me, it's uh, martial arts, being in the martial arts environment because I like the idea of training like a warrior because that's what it feels like sometimes for me. Maybe for you, you let me know though. Sometimes I feel like I'm in a battle. A challenge comes fast and furious. I gotta put my guards up. Not so much like this, but maybe with my mind and my heart that I got to be quick, 
and ready. Move to action. Be a warrior and fight a good fight as this challenge comes at me. And so martial arts for me has been that arena that I've been able to go into and train my mind, my heart to have that indomitable spirit and then train my body as best as possible. And as recently, well, I train every single day. And yesterday I trained really, really hard. I got together with a couple of guys and we did some technical training. And then we just got on the mats and rolled around, wrestled and got after each other. And you can see a little bit skanked up here, but you know, I train hard because I want my body to be strong. I want my mind to be strong and I want my heart, that warrior in me to be strong. And that means getting on the mats and getting very, very uncomfortable, being comfortable with that. So that's what I do for myself. I also get up early in the morning so that I can get my mind right. I read, I study, and then I share um, what I've read in a podcast. Maybe you're listening to my podcast. I spend a couple of minutes sharing a thought. It could be about discipline. It could be about just having this thought process. Maybe it's about just uh, being thoughtful and considerate and humble and accepting challenges. But I had this short uh, podcast. So I study, I read, I create this podcast, I share it with others. And basically I'm speaking to myself, but then I share it with others because I found very quickly over my life as a teacher and as someone that shares on the internet, thank God for this internet, because I don't know whether you're watching this uh, Sunday, 11 o'clock in the morning or Sunday, 11 o'clock at night or Friday or Wednesday, but you're watching it whenever you're watching it, and which is what I love about about that. But uh, I train my body and I train my mind. So this is what I'm doing for myself. And I also do the same thing for my children. I, sh I share with my children. If you've been following my car chats with my daughter, it gives you some insight on the 11 minutes that it takes for me to go from my home to Donato Karate Center to teach. And we do this every day, Monday through Saturday. My daughter, who is now a full-time instructor at Donato Karate Center, she takes the drive with me now. And it's about 11 minutes. During that 11 minutes, we have a chat. And now I videotape that and I put it up as a podcast and on YouTube. So maybe you've been hearing that chat. And so you hear, get some insight to how I share with my daughter. And now she's sharing back to me and to you guys what she's learning. And she's gonna be 18 years old. At 18 years, uh, close to 18 years, she's got now wisdom. She's got knowledge that she is passing on. And I think this is incredible. So I share with my children, my son, I'll spend time with my son and he's heavy and deep into BMX bikes and he's getting after it really, really hard. It's very, very exciting. So if you follow me on Instagram, every once in a while, I'll share what he's doing on the BMX bike, but we'll get together. I'll hang out with him doing what he enjoys doing. Maybe we'll do what we both love doing, going out and getting a nice juicy hamburger. And then I'll share with him. He'll share with me. So there's always pouring into my children and making sure that I have my finger on the pulse of what's going on in their hearts, in their lives, and doing my best not to be judgmental, but just to be someone there to listen. My son is 14 years old, getting ready to go into high school. So he's got his own mind. He's got a vision already for himself at 14. And I get that because basically, you know, when I was a kid, I was basically on the streets at 12 years old. So I was already making my own mind, uh, you, making my own choices at a very early age. So at 14 years old, my son is ready to be that man <laughs> in his own life. And I get that. So it's great to sit down with him to hear his thoughts where he would like to go. And again, I don't want to judge him. I just want to hear and get to know who he is. So I do that for my kids and I do all that I can to give them the knowledge, equip them to help them, you know, build their bodies, build their minds and build that warrior spirit because ready or not, life's going to come at them fast and furious. So I want to make sure that I've done all that I can as their dad, as a fellow citizen in my community to pour into them. Now with my community, I love the fact that I'm a teacher and instructor and Master Donato has given me an opportunity to come here and to be full time and pass on the knowledge to learn from him and to learn from the people that we've connected with uh, in the martial arts community. And I've also connected with people outside of martial arts community that are doing incredible things for their community and for the world and has inspired me. So I've taken that knowledge, that information have passed it on to my students at Donato Karate Center and to the community through video, through the internet, through the technology like we're doing right now. So 
uh, I'm just thinking about all that and how grateful I am with the opportunity to do that. And this is what this video is about, just to reach out to the community and just say thank you for allowing me to come into your lives, that you're sitting here watching this and listening. And if there's one person that I've touched, that uh, I've said something, one thing that inspires you, that encourages you, that maybe even motivates you to, uh, to look at what you're doing in your life, and maybe you'll say, you know what, let me tweak this, let me tweak that. Maybe I'm not on my diet. Maybe I'm not taking care of my body. Maybe I should be doing more to pour positive information into my mind. Maybe I should be a little bit more humble. Maybe I should be less angry or less frustrated. Maybe I could be more positive. I don't know what I'm doing, what word, but I know there's one person out there that, uh, that I know that needs to hear from me. And I know that. I learned this many, many years ago. And so I just want to thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for being a part of my life, uh, whether we've met each other directly or indirectly like this. I just want to thank you guys for that. And uh, if you want to find out more about the work that I do, if you want to find out about the podcasting, the video, the, uh, the video vlogs that we're doing, that I'm doing, the people that I'm connecting with, if you want to be uh, one of my students, come to Donato Karate Center. Just follow the link. Go to PeterLisiaga.com and find out more about all of that. So you go to the link on this page. That'd be awesome. But other than that, guys, I just want to encourage you to, to live your days, live your life one day at a time, full out. Life is short. And, you know, I hope to live to 100. It's going to be rough but I'm training for that. I'm 57, and that means I have 43 years left to really do all that I can to make an impact. And I have to be honest with you, I now realized this a couple of weeks ago, that me doing this, me talking to you, whether it's in person or with the technology, uh, is uh, I realize that I like the attention. <laughs> I like the attention. And that used to bother me. Why do I want this, all this attention? You know, I love it when you guys like my stuff. I love it when you make a comment. I love it when you come to me and say, hey, I heard what you said and thank you so much for saying that. Or I read what you wrote or I, I, I saw what you did and that inspired me. I love hearing that. It's almost like, for me, like oxygen. It, it feeds my, my, it motivates me. And I'm thinking that there's something wrong with that. Why do I need people approval. But I'll tell you what, when I was a kid, I was very shy. And uh, I, th I really thought I did not matter. I really thought that I was unimportant because of my experiences and what I felt the world was doing to me, what people were doing to me. I really felt I was nothing, that I had no voice, no one wanted to listen to me. So I stayed very quiet because I had this feeling that I was not important. And so as I get older, when I became an actor and I started doing things and I started getting people's attention, I like that. And now I just admit the fact that, hey, right or wrong, whether you agree with it or not or whatever, I love the attention. I love when you guys like. I love when you guys comment. I love when you guys hear that I'm going to teach somewhere or speak somewhere or that I'm doing a workshop or a webinar that you want to be a part of that and hear and join in. I love that. And it just, it gives me purpose. It feeds that part of me that, that was very uh, thirsty and hungry, hung, hungry for when I was a kid. And I'm not a kid anymore. But my grandfather would say I was a kid because, you know, he lived to, he was 98 and he called us 60 year olds, 50 and 60 year olds, 70 year olds, babies. But uh, I'm a lot older than I was when I felt that way and I was frustrated about that. And now I accept it. I enjoy it. So you liking this, following me and making comments, it really feeds me, motivates me. And if I, if I were to ask you for anything, it would be that, just like this make a, a comment and, and say, well done, Pete. I'm proud of you, Pete. And, or even if you have a comment that say, hey, Pete, you know, cut your hair or, you know, maybe you should shave or, or that one gray nose hair, get rid of it. <laughs> Anything, any attention from you, I would love. So anyway, other than that, I rambled on a bit. I appreciate you spending this time with me. It's something I had to get off my chest to you. Again, maybe one person will see this. Doesn't matter to me. At least now it's off my chest on you. You might be that one person that this will, will motivate, inspire, and encourage. And I just want that for you. I want the best for you. And I wish you the best of days. 
Talk to you guys soon. Take care.